gonna have to do the. <laughs> oh, baby, it's silver. Oh, nice. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. No, it's a quarter size silver and it's got to be, it's got a rim on it. Well, it's probably a Canadian silver, but look at that. Silver coin. And I think it's a silver British coin. Baby. Well, let's see. I don't want to, I don't want to rub this one too much because it's got some dirt on it. So. But let me see. Yeah, this has got to be. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not a Vicky or anything like that. I think it's a British, but you can see all the mud on it. There's no way I'm gonna clean it out here because if I'm, I don't want to scratch this, so I'll have to wait till I get back to the uh, truck and get some water. So don't even attempt to rub it. But look, that's British. I can just tell by the rim. So it's a uh, hmm. prior to 1858. I know that much, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good going. Yeah. It's a first first silver for this field. Yeah, for right? sure. Definitely. So that's very encouraging. When I read a 45 on this, I was thinking it could have been a new penny. But, uh, I mean, that would have been a fluke considering where we are. That's a new penny on this mound. Right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. So, definitely. Well, there we go. So, nice. Well, we'll have to wait to clean it up later to see what it is, though, unfortunately. But we will do. In your time, it's going to be immediate because you're going to see it right away. But I got to wait to go way over there to my vehicle. <laughs> it's not that far. It's a four minute walk. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Which I have to go there now. So. All right. I need to. Cool. Oh, he's got to go. So I need my cookies. Get some water. Bring some. Hey. Bring some water. He will bring some water back. I and will. We'll get it cleaned up in the I field. Will. Okay, well, Ted was away. I got another signal here, another 46. I haven't dug it, and he's back with the water, so let's see what we get. Let's see what this... It was a three-day hike to get that. <laughs> There's a creek, like, 50 feet over here, but... <laughs> there you go. All right, let's wash this one up and see what it is. Oh, is there a man on there? Yeah, it's British. He's, he, he's pretty crusted. See that? <laughs> a little bit. Alright, it's too, too dense. Alright, this is gonna take some, uh, I think it's gonna take some baking soda for this one, but because she, she's pretty black. But. He's facing. Oh, you know what? It is a Vicky. I see Victoria. So it is a Victoria. It is a Vicky uh, quarter. See Victoria? She's facing left. I don't know. I don't see it. Yeah, it's a Victoria. It's not a. Uh, it could be a Victoria British, but it's a it's a clean Victoria. Uh, I think it's a Canadian. It's Canadian. I can't see a date on it. Okay, this is gonna have to be a bacon soda cleanup because it's in pretty uh, pretty nasty condition. But you can see Victoria. Uh, I can see the bun. Or yeah, you can see the bun. Yeah. So a Vicky Quarter. So until we find out the date on it, I I'm gonna guess it. Not like yesterday. I don't think it's an 1859. If this was an 1858, you're gonna see me jump out of frame. I'll probably jump six feet in the air because 1858s are pretty rare for the uh, Vicky Quarters too. So six feet in the air, in the air at 50 years old <laughs> and out of shape. Yeah. Really? Hey, who's it calling out of shape? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of shape. I know that. Oh, him. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's out of shape. So. Sweet, so it is Vicky. Oh, there it is, one cent. Oh, one cent, one shilling. Aha, British. It is British. Look. See what it says? Oh, yeah, 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 I do. One shilling. So the one shilling's actually coming through, right? That is so cool, right? All right, so let's uh, see if I take could see a date off of it. So uh, anyways, the date's right there, the bottom. There, you can take the point. No, I think it's right there. 1839. No way! Yeah. Sweet, 1839 British shilling. So I was right, it's just the Queen Victoria shilling as opposed to the uh, King George, right? But uh, fantastic find for the field. Curious about what this one is, because it's, it's a 45, 46. Uh, this one's down at three inches. So maybe this one is, or my luck is, it's gonna be a new penny. <laughs> Good luck. All right. <laughs> nice work. Nice. 
Okay, hey Ted, you want to come over with your AT Pro and, and swing it anyway and listen to it? Okay, here, you gotta listen to this. This is the other target right after that silver. It's only three feet away. Listen to this. Hitting up 45 too. This one's down two inches right there. So give that a try, Ted. Oh yeah, it's screaming. What do you got? 83, 82. 83, What's your depth on that? Uh, about six. No, can't be six. I got three inches right there. Yeah. Go oh, no, 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 sorry. Yeah, how about that? Let's see. Huh. <laughs> two, two to three bars. Whoa. All right, awesome. That's screaming. I got to turn yeah. this down. Holy smokes. All right, let's take this one up. Stone hole. There. All right, this calls for the very gentle go like four inches away kind of thing. Ugh. I guess to my clump. There we go, right there. God, ah, baby, look at that. There she is. Look at that disc. Is that a large? I'm um, not sure. It's blackened. Let's see if we can get any detail. It looks like a slick rick on this side for the time being, anyway. But... Oh, black that is it? Yeah. Get some stuff off. Hmm. I'll let it dry a bit, maybe. Yeah, really. Well, it's definitely it's a token. It's not. Yeah, a, yeah. It's not a. Oh, it's another, it's a British coin. It's another British one, but real dark. I don't dark. know how you can tell. I can see, uh, liber I think I see the uh, Britannia sitting on the little stool. Want the, uh... Sure. Yeah. Well, that's a really hard. You know, I'd really like to find a Roman coin out here. That would be really awesome. And Roman coin, just because the British, when they came over, would have brought some souvenirs with them, or you know, a coin collection maybe of Roman coins. Yeah, she's a real slick, slick, a ricky diesel. Slick it a ricky. I see. I, I do see a bust on there though. So. Yeah. This will take some finagling to actually see what it really is, but see, like, I can see a bit of a bust. Just, like a, just a hint. Looks like a 38 double D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, that's right. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll have to uh, get this cleaned up later and have to identify it another time because I can't see nothing. So. But anyways, another, uh, another coin three feet away from here. Can't see anything. Sweet. We interrupt this broadcast to uh, answer a phone call. Is no, we important? don't. <laughs> Ted got a low tone on this one and uh, it was reading up a 70. Oh. Yeah. What the hell's going on there? You hear that? Yeah, that's another one right there. Or is that it? That's it. That's it. See, that's what I told you. Oh, that's the, well, that was the thing. Piece I of just... pewter, right? And like I said. Let's see. Hey, what's that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I got a piece of pewter reading about a 70 on the AT Pro, right? So there you go. It's a diggable target again in, in a farm field. In a park, not so much, <laughs> right? You would cool. think that was a piece of uh, garbage in a park, but oh well. I wouldn't call it's it womp womp womp, would you? No, no. Okay, so I got this target down at about seven and a half, eight inches. It was a lower tone, 36 on the e track And uh, when I saw it in the hole, I didn't get that. I didn't get it all on film because the camera was way over there. But anyways, I'm getting it now. 
Um, it was a big round disc and I thought it was a coin, but it's not. It's actually a button. And uh, it's a hunting button. At least that's why I assume, because I can see there's some kind of creature on the front of it here. And it looks like... Oh, it's a wolf. Oh, okay. It's a wolf. So there's a wolf on a button. I guess they're hunting wolves. At least I think it's a wolf. Anyways, we'll get her cleaned up. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice looking button. It's a two-piece, and there's still the shank attached. So, gotta love that, eh? I like these hunting buttons. They're, they're really, really pretty, some of them. They really have some really nice designs, but to me it does look like a wolf. But, yeah. There you go, hunting button. Awesome. So I got another really nice signal here. It's hitting up a 39 or 40 on the track. It's about three inches down. So I'll let you listen to it. Where is it? I lost it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Listen to this. Three inches down, hitting 1239 solid. Not changing from a 1239. Okay, 1237, close enough. So let's get this one dug up and see what it is. Still in the hole. As you would hear me say, I like it when they're still in the hole. It's at three inches. Maybe this miss pin. Oh, that's not three inches. Look, it's actually showing up right here. I'll take down three inches. Okay. Let's see if that was it. Let's see if this is it. Oh, yeah, that's it for sure. In the clump. So it's pretty small, it's probably a button. Man, that screamed out for such a small button. It's a button. Yep, it's a button. Hmm. Boy, but listen to this, eh? That's a screamer. 12.39. Shank is uh, flattened out. Not much of a shank left, but hey, nevertheless, a little flat button. That's kind of cool. There you go. It's pretty cool. Found a, a little watch winder right here. Up a bit. And there you go. It's my first watch winder. Good. So, Dad called me over. This time he's sure it's a coin because he sees it right where he, right <laughs> yeah. where he found well, that it. That or a big flat button, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's a coin. I see no detail and it's right stuck on the wall right there. Nice. Love that. That's thin. Gonna be one of those slick ricks like I almost dug up? Uh, no, I'm starting to see writing around the edges. Oh, okay, good. So it's drying out a bit. Yeah, nice. Let's see. We've been having a pretty stellar day here today. Yeah, I really have. Still not quite. What do you think? Well, it says, you see the word upper. Also, oh, it's an upper Canada, upper. oh, upper Canada token. Yeah. Man, is it ever. So it's uh, upper Canada token. Worn. I'm trying to think what would be on that. Does it say on Sioux on one side? I don't know what it says. I'm really trying to. Like that, 
All right, I'm gonna come and check it out. You can see. Oh yeah, some okay. Sort of a design. I've seen there, these. I've seen these before. It's, like I said, it's just an upper Canada token with the, with the ship on it. So it's got a ship on the one side. Can't you see the ship? Holy ship! Look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. A ship in the ocean. I see a ship. <laughs> uh, but you couldn't see a date, eh? No. Okay. I don't even know what side the date would be on. That's right there. Uh, there's a nine zero. So. Eighteen. Uh, it's not. It's drying it. It is not eighteen ninety. Uh, let me see your thing. It's, it's an earlier token. Ah. 1820. 1820. 1820. So this is a very oh, that's early the very early one. That's the earliest one. That's the earliest one here so far is in 1820. Yeah. yeah. See, it's kind of cool. Yeah, very cool. I can get some of this stuff out if you want. It's almost like a toothpick. Check this out. That's a nice uh, coat. Liberty. So I can still, still I, I can, we can still make out the Liberty right on the headband. 15 minutes. I'll show you what I got. Wow. <laughs> All right, hold on. He just get a coin. He's like, <laughs> he's uh about to. You know, you should wait until I finish filming my scenes before you even get a coin. Like, well, this you, is getting a little tiresome. That, you made that comment about me missing it, so I figured <laughs> so it would be an appropriate time to interrupt you. and With another coin. Pretty much like that. I mean, I moved, moved some, and then I seen it sitting right there on the surface, just so I could see it. Literally. That's amazing. His magnifier, and it, as it turns out, he saw 1812. And that one just jumped to 84, so I don't really know what's going on here. So, but there's... One way to find out. Like back in these days, like, you know. How much it was good worth? Shape. Yeah, like, oh, that's good uh, detail on that. Yeah, fairly good. 1853. Wow. Okay, go back to yours now. You interrupt this, Mr. Ted. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh no. Uh... What are you new at this? Good. Hey. Way to go, mister. Thank you, sir. A lot of details left. Even the Liberty's on there, so. And the one sent on the other side. And then Ted gets that one. So we're doing fantastic today. He just dug a coin. As I just finished digging this coin and shut the camera off, and now he's coming. It was a weird one. It was down too, like how deep. Mm -hmm. Pinpointer as well. Oh, <laughs> first thing it's a coin. 